Welcome to Impact Zero. We're a not-for-profit foundation that's building a circular economy in Toronto with the help of some awesome businesses. My name's Erin, I'm the founder of the foundation, and I'm really excited to have you here today with us. Before you learn about the circular economy, it's best to get really clear on what the linear economy is. A linear economy is the economic system that we find ourselves in now. It's where businesses take, make, and eventually throw away everything that we've ever owned. Typically, businesses make small margins on each product because they sell it to a customer to own. The products only go to one person or family to use, so once they don't need it anymore, it gets thrown away. People may repair their belongings if they're extra handy, or they might share it or sell it if they're feeling particularly inspired, but ultimately, for the most part, people don't do this because it's not built into the foundations of our economic system. At Impact Zero, we like to explain the linear economy in a series of five steps. The first one is resource extraction. That is when we mine, gather, or take materials from natural spaces to put them into our products. As consumption increases, so must this in a linear economy. The next step is manufacturing. This is when we manipulate, refine, or use energy, water, or other resources to turn our raw materials into products. The third step is distribution and retail. This is often the only time that consumers interact with businesses because in a linear economy, we purchase to own. We don't often rent or lease products. The fourth step is customer use. This step can either show high or low utilization depending on the product. For example, a high utilization product would be something like my notebook that I use every day, whereas low utilization would be some seasonal product or something you only use once or twice a year. The fifth and final step is disposal. In a linear economy, this often looks like people just sending things to landfill because there isn't really infrastructure in place to reuse, redistribute, or remanufacture products or parts. Regardless of what economic system we're talking about, businesses will always be incentivized to increase their profit margins. The problem in a linear economy is that people are buying to own them, so in order to increase profit margins, you have to reduce costs, which means manufacturing a ton of products to reduce the cost per product. They then need to market the crap out of all of this stuff so that people will buy it. This mass purchasing culture is what we like to call consumerism, and it's all thanks to companies making fast, cheap products that we all need to buy. As you can imagine, this machine is the reason that we're running out of landfill space at the same time that we're running out of natural resources. It's also why we have mass consumer debt and we're way overshooting our climate goals. We'll have more videos about the many factors that contribute to consumerism in a linear economy. Just know that it's not entirely the fault of the consumer. The work that we do at Impact Zero is aiming to find ways to rebuild this broken system into one that we like to call a circular economy. Look out for our next video where we'll share what a circular economy is and what that exactly means for you.